I'm Aaron from Aaron Does Kendo, and this is a review of Andy Fisher's Kendo Star brand Vanguard Bulgu set. You can find that on Mikatsuki Budogu's website, or you can just search kendostar.com and I'm sure you'll find the Bulgu. Check the link in the description below or above. So if you're like me, I'm totally sure you're skeptical about buying Bolgu online. You can't see the Bolgu for yourself. If you go into kendostar.com, you're gonna see a lot of really good images. You can see really clearly the stitching. You can see a whole lot of details of this Bolgu. And this Bolgu really does look like the description that's online. But there's some opinions I have about how the Bolgu's made, um, albeit they're gonna be really biased because I bought Bolgu from Andy Fisher before. Every time I bought Bulgur from him, it's a little bit better. It's designed, I don't know, I think it's, it's almost as if it's designed specifically for me, but I'm super biased, mostly because I feel like Andy Fisher's Kendo is something that I always have looked up to. I've always wanted to do Kendo like him. I've always wanted to put out videos that are as good as his. So I want you to know, this is gonna be very biased. So there's a really obvious theme for this Bulgur set and it's protection. So as Andy Fisher has told me, there's a lot of people that he talks to worldwide. He talks to people who run dojos. He's talked to the police, Tokuden in Japan. He's talked to a ton of people. And if you really get to know where Andy's been, where he works in Japan, and all the people that he talks to worldwide, he gets a ton of information from them on how the Bolgu should be, and he's responding to that. It's one of the reasons why I've seen when he's worked with all Japan, and he's put out All Japan Budogu, Bolgu. But I've noticed that over time, the Bolgu gets a little better every time and I think it has to do with how he responds to what people are telling him. What um, Zen Nihon Kendo Renmei tells him, um, what international teachers tell him, even what students tell him. He's responding to them and the thing that he's responding to the most with this Bolgu, I think, is protection. Kendo teachers are looking for Bolgu that's strong enough to protect their new students and as you guys are aware, new students oftentimes quit Kendo because they feel that like they're getting hit too hard. The Bolgu protects them enough that it doesn't feel like it's getting hit too hard, it obviously helps in that way. An overall thing that I've noticed is that this Bolgu is very shibui. It's lacking unnecessary details. If I look at this kote, it doesn't have unusual embroidery or weird colors. It doesn't have unnecessary stuff to it. Even when it comes to protection, it's not unnecessarily thick. And now for the specifics. When it comes to the futon, the place where you actually get hit on the kote, the same thing with the top of the men, it's not that much thicker than I'd expect. I always thought that this kind of stuff is more protective, so it'd be really thick, like a huge thick layer, but it's actually not. I think it has to do with the material that they use. On the inside of the kote, instead of just using the plain cotton material, which is kind of hard, they use a softer material. It's almost like that velvety material on the inside of the men that touches your face. I think it's a lot more impact resistant. And some of what helps that is the stitching. The stitching on the kote buton and on the top of the men is wider than something like the men that it or these tare buton. It's obviously hard to see how much protection a bogu offers, but after asking people to hit me really hard with this stuff, I feel like it hurts a whole lot less. I feel like it's absorbing the pressure of the head. Another specific detail I've noticed is that the dole is really stiff. So right here, the mune and the dole dai don't bend out. This is not a Kendo Star Vanguard dole. It's really bendy right here. Every time I get hit for a munetsuki, it kind of caves in this way and I don't think it's that comfortable. But the Vanguard dole really maintains its shape. Even when I get hit for a munetsuki, it doesn't bend out like that. I think that's really good. I think that ski is also a lot stiffer on this men. This feels a lot more stiff. When I get hit there, I feel like it's taking the impact. I'm not afraid that it's gonna cave in. This is an all Japan men that I bought a couple years ago, and it's a lot softer. Also, the ski dot is a little bit smaller. I kind of prefer the larger ski dot, and I prefer one that's a lot more, a lot more sturdy, more stable, one that doesn't bend out this way. So if you look at the men from this angle, the men that face you that way. It might just be stylistic for some people, but I really like having the tare face forward this way. I like having this back portion of the tare to kind of flare out in this direction and this bottom part of the tare to cave in in this direction. I think it offers a slight bit more protection 
But most of all, it looks like I did this on purpose. It doesn't look like the old style of men did it where, you know, sometimes it'll just flap out this way for no apparent reason. This looks like it has more meaning behind it. And it actually came like this out of the package. Now I've had men before where the men it is kind of excruciatingly long. It's kind of the older style of men it. And I noticed that when it comes out of the packaging, it comes like this. It's completely flat in this kind of square. And if I wear it on the first day, it's gonna look like this. And oftentimes it'll curl up this way. So I much rather have men come like this almost preformed. Oftentimes I have to break in my men too. I have kind of a smaller head. I don't really like it when the men that it and the men just in general is just way too long. I feel like they've cut down on the size a whole lot, but it's also a lot softer in the right places. Like around here on the ears, around on the side, and also the tare itself is significantly softer, more pliable, and actually a little bit more thin. And it's not like the, it doesn't seem as protective and I think that's okay, actually. It's much, I much rather prefer that. I feel like I'd much rather have more um, easy arm movement um, on here, on the tare, and a lot more protection on top. And it looks like, you know, Andy's figured it out. Like, he's, he really has the system down. On the sides, I don't know if I really did this myself. All I had to do was really break it in like this a little bit to make it form fit my head this way. But it just fit really comfortably. Um, it's, which is really strange for me. I think my head's a little bit, it's a little bit it's shaped weird, I think. Um, but still, it really curled around my head naturally. About seven or eight years ago when I was doing kendo in high school, I noticed that the men that I was using would really constrict the blood flow of my head almost. It was really, really boxy and square. And it would push right on the middle of my head, like right on my temple. It was really annoying. And it got so bad that I wanted to quit kendo at one point. Um, but after wearing this, I would much rather have a new student wear men where it's mostly pre-formed and pre-shaped this way. It might be that shaping the men and forming it is a skill, um, and it might be that outsourcing that skill to the bulgia, like, you know, the bulga shop is not the best thing. But I feel like for a new student, it's really crucial that they feel comfortable in their bulga. Um, if they don't feel comfortable in it, I feel like there's a really high chance that they're, they're going to want to quit over time because it's uncomfortable, it's painful. But I feel like this is really important, more important than tare, kote, do. And I think it's really well done, the way it's shaped. I don't know, I like it. I think in the future, I would much rather have ski that's curved out this way. I've noticed that sometimes people's ski will get poked into their do. And I feel like if it's a little bit curved out this way, just on the very bottom portion, it'll have, it'll be a little less susceptible to that. To me, it just kind of looks better. It's kind of an aesthetic thing having ski that looks like that rather than like this, but it's such a small detail and that's something that I can just do myself by breaking it in over time, but it's kind of cool it's already broken in for the most part. The kote uses cotton himo. I've used kote with polyester himo before or almost this nylon himo and I feel like it wears a hole in my arm. Like it just, it really wears away at my arm over time. The cotton I think feels way better. It'll obviously soak up some sweat, but I don't think that's wrong. I always like wearing the cotton dolgi. It obviously will soak up a ton of sweat when I'm, you know, in the summer or like in a very humid area, like in Japan, it's gonna soak up a ton. Um, and I think the same thing you're gonna get with your kote, that's what I've seen in the past. I much rather prefer to have the cotton himo. And uh, that's what, you know, Andy said, he's got feedback asking, you know, people always ask him, use the cotton himo, don't use the polyester. So he's obviously, uh, I think he's just responding to that. One thing that I personally don't like all that much is how the inside of the kote is made of this fluffy kind of velvety material. I think for students, um, I would much rather give um, students use kote that use this kind of velvety material. I think it's obviously put in there for protection. If it's velvety like that, people aren't gonna feel that slap of the kote quite as much as if it was like a hard cotton interior, the same kind of cotton that's used out here. Um, I feel like they'll really feel a slap and it, I think it's kind of jarring for a lot of people when they really feel that slap over and over again on their arm. Um, but personally, I don't really like um, having this kind of a, you know, like a polyester material on the inside just because it, it kind of smells bad over time, I think. Um, I think the way like my skin kind of wears onto it over a long period of time isn't the best, but I don't think that matters all that much. You know, the, it, it really does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to protect more. Um, and I think it really keeps that, that slapping 
feeling away. I wash my cold day. I undo all the stuff on the cold day and I wash them anyway. It kind of breaks them down and makes them less protective, but that's something that I personally do. I don't think everyone should do that. So to me, it's not the biggest deal because I, I would just wash off whatever gets on here and I think that'll uh, I think that'll be okay. I like to buy new Himo for my Bogu. I feel like the basic Himo that they give you, it doesn't weigh that much. It's not as springy in a sense, like it comes really springy in the package, but before long, it's like this really stretched out taut material. It's not very heavyweight cotton. It's not my favorite. The basic Himo that came with this Doe and I think are great. Um, I feel like it's really similar to the All Japan Man Himo and Doe Himo that I've used in the past. I mean, it works really well. I've used some other brands before where it's, it just seems like it's almost like a really thin cord or like a shoelace. My thoughts on Tare in general are that they're a place where people get kind of crazy with weird designs and they get really heavy and unnecessarily bulky. With this Tare, you'll notice that there are no like Clarino leather pieces here or Clarino leather up here. This thing is really light. I'm not all that big of a fan of this embroidery on the outside here. I guess it's gonna make it last a little bit longer. It's also really flexible on the top portion. I guess you'd call it the obi portion or whatever that is. I've noticed that some tare are really, it's kind of hard here and they use a way too, way too close stitching on there. It's not as comfortable. This feels more like a, it's really cushiony. It's the same kind of cushiony feel that I get on the top of the men and on the kote, but it's a lot thinner. And I think the material they use is just generally softer. So I think that uh, when it comes to making shibui tare, I think this is a very shibui tare. The tare that I've been using before this set is this tare. So this is my typical training everyday tare. And you'll notice how it has this embroidery here, embroidery here, um, all this clarino all over the place. And it weighs like, I don't know, it feels almost like it weighs two times as much as this tare. It's a lot of unnecessary stuff that I, I don't really like. Even on the back, it has this polyester material that's fairly unnecessary. I feel like it's a really good tare, um, and it probably takes a lot more effort to make a tare like this, but I think it's unnecessary effort. And I mean, I feel like tare, I'd much rather just, you know, switch it out um, every couple of years than just wear out one tare, even though I've been doing that with this tare for the past, I don't know, for a long time. I've noticed that Kendo Star isn't so heavy with their logos. It's just black and it's just got the KS and it says Kendo Star. Um, it's on the outside of the kote. I had a set of kote where there was embroidery or there was a logo on the inside and it would like wear on the inside of my hand and it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, I think this is okay. Um, it'd be kind of strange for, for a Boga manufacturer like Kendo Star to not put any logo on there. They put logos on there that I think are small enough that they're not gonna get in the way. It's a brand that's recognized internationally. So I think they found a good balance between being too showy about their logo, but also holding back and having fairly small logos. Overall, the Bogu looks a little bit purple. I don't really like the purple color all that much, but I've noticed with the All Japan Budogu, this is a pair of All Japan Kote, and when I first got these, they were really purple, like a more intense purple, almost like magenta color. But after I used it for a long time, and I've actually washed these a couple times, they turn blue. So I look at these and I worry like, oh, am I gonna be that purple Bulgu guy? But I'm pretty sure that in a couple months it's gonna look more blue. And I, that's like a personal preference of mine. I really want that navy, almost a little more like a royal blue color. And I'm not, I'm not afraid that these are gonna retain their purpleness forever. So when Andy Fisher first asked me about doing a review on this Bulgu set, he asked me what kind of uh, design right here for the doll Mune that he wanted me to have. And obviously I picked the one that I felt was the most basic, the one that was the least showy, the one that was the most shibui, and it was this one right here. If you go online, you'll notice that there's a lot of different kinds of doll Mune that you can pick for this set. And even though it's a really basic set, um, in, a, in a sense, it's, it's pretty much for like new students. I feel like more experienced people. Um, it's kind of like a, a for everyone set of bogu. So once again, thanks for putting up with how biased this review is. It's an Andy Fisher Bolgu set. With Bolgu, I feel like there's so many manufacturers out there. It's kind of hard to see like a, a common thread between different sets of Bolgu. And I feel like with Andy Fisher's Bolgu, every time he works with a company, he really puts a lot into it. He puts a lot of thought into it. And he actually, I feel like he's progressively making better Bolgu as he goes on. One decade, Bolgu is gonna be 
people are going to want different Bolu than in a different decade. And he responds to that kind of thing. So I feel like this Bolu that he's putting out is this stuff that people people want, you know, on really high levels in Japan, but also stuff that people want internationally, you know, like my dojo out in the middle of nowhere in Spokane, Washington, the United States. Um, our people are still going to want Bolu like this. So.